For the Roll Radio Network, I'm Joe Gangwish with the No-Till on the Plains Winter Conference going on in Salina. With me is Terry Fleck. Terry, you are with the Center for Food Integrity. You're based out of Indianapolis, but the office is in Kansas City. But for folks that don't know, tell us about your company. Well, the Center for Food Integrity is an international not-for-profit based in Kansas City. Uh, and we really basically just help today's food system earn consumer trust. That's our sole purpose, our sole function. So we do a number of things. We help make sure that there's a balanced uh, conversation with the public about today's food issues. We work with the culture of today's food system to try to understand the consumer in a, in a much better fashion so that they can better align practices with consumer expectations. Normally this is an agronomic meeting, but you are here to talk about what the consumers, how, you know, what they're thinking and what we should be thinking about on the production side. So, so tell us uh, the, uh, some of the high points of your talk today. Well, again, I think the organizers realize that consumers are much more interested in today's food and where it comes from. So I was basically sharing today just uh, some of the reasons why consumers are disconnected from today's food system. It's large. It's impersonal. Oftentimes they feel it has no values. And so they just they just mistrust things of size. And uh, that was one of the key points. I think another one was how do we overcome that bias against size? And it really centers on talking about our values. They are generationally, geographically disconnected from today's food system. So they really want to know who are the people that are growing and raising my food and packaging my food. And uh, they just want to know our values. Are we, are we like them? Do, are, are, they, are we people that they can trust? And so it's just about being more genuine and really more human uh, with today's consumer. Yeah, you really hit home with that on the shared values is, is the only way we're going to build trust. Well, and our research bears that out quantitatively, that shared values are three to five times more important in building trust uh, than sharing our science and sharing our, our knowledge and our information. So they really want to know who are you as a person and can I trust you? And then, of course, you have an opportunity to share your science and your, your information and share your economics. They're important, but they really want to know who you are. And 101, too, uh, you had a great point that Folks don't want to hear that, you know, we're trying to grow a, fee, uh, a growing population in the world right now. They, they want to go, get a little more personal with us. So, so how, do, how do we best talk to consumers one-on-one? -on -one? Well, I think the best thing to do is just whatever your environment is, whether it's at the grocery store, whether it's with your church group, whether it's friends and the conversations that you're having. I think as farmers, we just simply need to have conversations about the things that we do and how we do them and, um, and then just answer people's uh, questions and information. And a lot of that happens and starts with just listening to what they have to say, maybe asking a couple questions about what's their previous understanding to that before we offer information. So it's getting to know the person a little bit more, getting to understand what their concerns are, and then properly addressing those. What surprised me is, is how much they actually care about the price of food, but they do. Well, they really do. In fact, particularly for the mom, the millennial, and the foodie, um, uh, sourcing healthy, affordable food is a very high priority in an, in an area of anxiousness in their life. So that's just really what we are about with today's food system is we're about producing healthy, affordable food. And so we just have to help make that connection with today's consumer. That's Terry Fleck. He's with the Center for Food Integrity at the No-Till on the Plains Winter Conference. It's going on in Salina. For the Rural Radio Network, I'm Joe Gangwish.